Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday. It is the Market Outlook video. We're going to take a look at what could be happening in the market this next week inside of FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. Of course, it is crazy at the moment with all the market crash, the market going down. We're kind of nearing the end of the ones to watch promo, so I want to talk about that. Other content we can see this week with Champions League and a lot of just market-based things because a lot of people... Bought cards tonight, again, in Squad Battle Rewards, and some stuff is actually going up. We'll talk about that and how that does continue to trend throughout the week this week. So, again, the biggest thing to talk about here, though, is ones to watch in terms of content this week. The ones to watch promo, and it's ending on Wednesday. We're literally seeing the end of this promo on Wednesday over here on the website. It says, again, that these cards are out of packs Wednesday, October 21st at 6 p.m. UK. And this has got a lot of people questioning at this time. Does this mean that all ones to watch cards are going to come back into packs after that on Wednesday? Or are we going to start to see the lead up to the Scream promo? To me, I don't think we're going to get these cards back into packs. But it's one thing to mention that ones to watch cards from set two, from this set right here, will have a couple days less of pack supply. Whether that's daily SBCs or promo packs in the store. A couple days less of pack supply than... The first set will have. So that's going to be something interesting. A little bit less supply on these cards could make it interesting down the road in terms of how rare these cards are, maybe a little bit. But uh, this ends on Wednesday. So that's kind of interesting, right? That this promo actually ends in two days and um, it doesn't go until Friday. What a lot of people are thinking then is that we will see a loading screen either on Wednesday or Thursday for the Ultimate Scream promo, which is, should be coming up pretty soon because that's based around Halloween and Halloween is only a couple weeks away. So that would make sense. If that promotion, which was a two-week promo last year, would start this next Friday inside of foot. So again, SBC's objectives for this week. If you're still going to do this Jota SBC, who we are hoping gets into Team of the Week because of the game he had last, was it Wednesday or Thursday? The international game that he played in, the Nations League game, where he had two goals and an assist. Two goals or two goals and an assist. Um, we're hoping that he gets into team of the week for that, but you have two days, 13 hours left. If that's something you're interested in, I'm probably not going to get it done because weekend league is going to take up my time until then. Um, but of course weekend league is still going on as well. Uh, I think a lot of people are done though, right? Cause this is normally like the Saturday night time frame, And a lot of people just try to finish their games on the weekend anyway. And there was just a lot of hype for the weekend league in general. So I think even though there's one day left at, we're going to be ending late in the, the early morning, Tuesday, late night, Monday for me. Uh, I don't think it's going to cause a lot of sell-off today on Monday on the market. If we see a lot of sell-off, it's probably just going to be because more pack supply, SBC content, or some sort of content that comes out in the game. Now, SBCs that I do think we could see this week. I don't think I would expect any more ones to watch players, right? I think this Matuidi was our last actual ones to watch player SBC. And all of this stuff is expiring in two days, uh, basically with the end of the OTW promo which is pretty interesting, right? Uh, some of these pack supply SBCs that I haven't done because they're untradeable uh, or they're just not worth it are expiring at the end of the promo as well. So all the, the ones to watch SBCs and stuff are ending in two days. This Vitzel is out for the rest of the week. Of course, the player of the months are still out for a long time, uh, but it looks like we're going to be reset on Wednesday with a lot of... Wednesday is going to be a pretty big day, man. Wednesday, we will have Europa League possibly... Um, Tuesday and Wednesday, probably with the Champions League stuff. I'll talk about that more in a bit. But Wednesday, for sure, with just new content, you know, we might see a loading screen. We'll see the new team of the week, of course, and all the stuff that goes along with that. So that Wednesday could be a really interesting day, figuring out what happens on this coming Friday in the game. But I think we're done with just like these types of SBCs. We might see another pack supply SBC or two, maybe today on Monday. Uh, that could be interesting for the market again, because all these pack supply SBCs just make a drop. And then a rebound with meta stuff. Um, but again, it's really going to be interesting to see as well how much demand there are for for just cards on the market because of the fact that Division Rivals is the new layout for that. Maybe EA is going to update us on some of that stuff this week. I feel like it might take them a while to actually figure that out, though. So content-wise, in terms of the new promos and, and the old promo of Once to Watch kind of ending, I don't think we'll see too much this week. It might be kind of a slower week. Maybe they release like League SBCs this week. I don't know. That'd be cool because I don't remember when they came out last year, but that'd be kind of nice if they started adding some league SBCs uh, into the game. Those would be nice to have and to grind towards um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, the other thing that could come out this week content wise is Champions League, because, of course, we do have some Champions League matches happening on Tuesday. Europa League matches happening on Thursday and Wednesday, I think. 
So it's Tuesday, Wednesday for Champions League, and I think it might either be Wednesday, Thursday, or just Thursday. Maybe it's Tuesday, Thursday. I don't even know what it is. But midweek this week, there are Champions League games, um, and there's probably going to be a UCL marquee matchups, and we also will probably see the introduction of Champions League or UCL items. Now, this happened already. They've tweeted this out a couple weeks ago actually about 10 days ago, FIFA Direct Communications said there are four UCL items already in the game and they've been showing in the game as well. Like if you go to the actual market and you click on transfers, you can see if the menus didn't lag so much that uh, you can search by UCL rare cards on the market. UCL rares and non-rares. There are two items that are going to be coming out. I think they're going to come into packs on Tuesday. That really doesn't mean too much for the market. The only interesting thing to see will be, will these cards be needed for certain SBCs in the next couple of weeks. So probably EA is going to get, let them be supplied. I wouldn't expect a UCL marquee matchups or any UCL SBCs that would require those right off the bat because I feel like they need to get supplied yet on the market first. So that's just one thing to think about. But um, I do think that these are coming out on Tuesday. I think it has to happen. We'll probably see all the introduction of Champions League content today or this week on Tuesday. With UCL, UCL marquee matchups, I know a lot of people have been investing in these. It's really tough to invest in marquee matchups right away just because there's so many options, right? You've got Barcelona playing. This is a big game. Uh, Man United and PSG, that'll be a big one. A lot of people have also been investing in, I think, um, Bayern and, and, and Atletico. I think that's a pretty big game. But what I would expect is, I think what they used to do for UCL, UCL marquee matchups is they pick two games from Tuesday and two games from Wednesday and they maybe they pick Europa League games. It's been a long time since we had UCL marquee matchups, but a lot of people have been investing for these cards already. They've been buying the gold cards for like discard value, basically. Those are probably going to rise into the week this week. And Tuesday could be an interesting day for the market as well because, you know, with pack supply SBCs coming out, we see a lot of dips, right? To, uh, last night was squad battle rewards. We saw the market dip again, and also a lot of people buying and investing, which we'll talk about here in a second. But um, a lot of this market is probably going to dip on Tuesday with especially people expecting UCL marquee matchups, tradable packs to come into the game. You might actually see a sell-off in the morning on Tuesday just because people are expecting that, right? We're really starting to see that a lot of the market ups and downs is really just the trading and investing community, panic selling cards and dumping investments because of tradable pack supply coming and th that being that scared, like they're scared of that making prices drop. So that's where a lot of this market fluctuation is honestly coming from. It's from people panic selling investments that they've mass bought and they're expecting to rise so that they don't rise and they keep undercutting each other. It just goes lower and lower and lower. But you might see some of that on Tuesday because that's when we should see some Champions League content stuff, which will be sweet. Why? Right? It'll be really, really cool to see that stuff come back in the game. Uh, somebody mentioned to me Road to the Finals. I believe last year Road to the Finals were like around this time or like you know, uh, maybe a little bit after this, but Road to the Finals are probably not going to come out just yet. Um, I would be very surprised if they forego, if they would forego the, um, I think they came out during like match day two. When's match day two? October 27th. So we have these two weeks. So then probably before match day four and five, I think we would see Road to the Finals maybe sometime in like early November. It might be Scream and then road to the final in like early November timeframe before Black Friday. Um, but, you know, I'm just kind of starting to think about road to the final cards and what that could mean for the, the game as well. But that's probably a little bit in the future. I don't think those cards would come out just yet, uh, but that could be pretty interesting. Uh, and then, yeah, so again, Tuesday for the market. And what is actually going on with the market right now is a lot of these popular players were sold down even more into late night Sunday, and they're now starting to rebound. Wow, we are seeing a lot of rebounds on these cards. So if you bought some really meta cards at rewards tonight, you are making some coins. Sun was down under 200K. It was 197,000 coins right at rewards time, and has bounced back up to 215. A lot of the really popular meta players have bounced back, but what that tells me is... People are investing in these cards and they're buying them up as investments. And that scares me a little bit. If you bought cards tonight and you're seeing them rise, I would take the cash today on Monday or try to wait on Tuesday. If you, th if you think they go a little bit more, maybe Monday night into Tuesday, I would just be scared of that supply coming on Tuesday. And just th since a lot of the stuff that was bought up tonight was again, just people investing, right? These were investors buying cards because they dipped low. Now, yes, you're making coins, right? But take the coins on that investment Get that profit and get out, right? Quick flips should be the name of the game right now, in my opinion, because 
this market's still so up and down all over the place that I don't think you want to mess with it very much, right? And that's what I'm doing with cards right now too. I bought a parte tonight at 101,000 coins. I'm trying to do a nice big flip on a Havertz wants to watch card at the moment. I've started flipping icons. Uh, out of packs, informs were absolutely incredible tonight. Team of the week one and two both went up a lot after rewards. Vardy was like 190. Benyetta was 485. Lozano, somebody I love to trade with right now, is was 83k. Now he's up 10,000 coins. Bruno was like 310. Oop Makana was in the 170s. Suarez was Suarez was down some. Um, even some of the team of the week two cards, right? Harry Kane was 63. He's not up that much. Lewandowski's chilling. Holland's up 10k. Hernandez is up 5k. So a lot of these cards did rebound a decent amount after squad battles. Um, because people were honestly just buying them, right? Uh, if you did not watch the video that was in the midday yesterday, how to trade with ones to watch cards, I would highly recommend get on that, man, because these, look at this, what happened with Bale today, right? We're not talking about the Spurs game, right? We're not talking about that, right? Come on, you Spurs. I, dude, we loaded up the Twitch live stream today, and all of you guys came in the chat saying, up the Lanzini, like, how are we feeling today, man? Go Lanzini. Spurs with a major, major Spurs-like performance on Sunday. Anyways, we're going to get past that, but... Post game, Bale was up to 324 because when he got subbed on, of course, he was announced on the on the lineup. If you sold pregame, you made your coins there and you made a lot. A lot of people bought this card at like 270, 260. He rose up, boom, you sold. And then he went down after the game with all of the undercutting and all the people selling who were holding his card. He went to 230 and he's bounced all the way back up to 260, right? That is one of the things I mentioned in that video. So just go and give that a watch because there's a lot of trading that you can do with these cards that is very, very profitable. Allen is up about 10K. Tellus is up a little bit. Even Ake is up like 5,000 coins, which is decent uh, for a 60K card. So once to watch cards are going to be interesting to watch this week. I still think they're going to rise into Tuesday with the players that do have games. I've got a, a Suarez on my uh, transfer list right now. Um, now, of course, we do have a game today. We've got Semedo and Rodrigo both playing Monday in the Prem. So that's going to be interesting to watch. If those guys go up, if they had good games, that could be something to watch today on Monday. Uh, but I think the guys that play on Tuesday, uh, some of these guys that have ones to watch is for match week one, match day one, even though they're technically not going to get upgraded, I do think that you are going to see these cards rise into the pregame. Havertz, you know, maybe Werner, of course, he's got a uh, team of the week almost guaranteed to come his way pretty soon. But uh, just keep an eye on that. Of course, you know, some of these cards really might rise into Tuesday because people won't realize they can't get an inform from this. They're just knowing that, hey, these cards are going to be playing. We're going to get to watch them play on TV with Champions League midweek. So that's just something to keep in mind, in my opinion, with those cards uh, this week. They probably will rise up into Tuesday into Wednesday, into Thursday, if they are playing midweek games. So just something to keep an eye on there. Um, and if you're trying to trade in this market right now, I, I will say it, out of packs in forms and icons are the safest. Don't be scared of the gold cards. I just got another sale. Who is this? Uh, we just sold our Thomas Partey to a lazy buyer for 117,000 coins. W. Freaking W, man. I literally bought that earlier tonight at 100,000 coins. 101, I think, is what I got it at. If he's still kind of in that range, or if I could snag another sh snipe, I might do that. Because he's still, what does he right now? Oh, wow. He's one, 109. So, yeah, we just got a nice little 8K lazy buy right there. Just made about 10K on that card. A little over 10K, actually. So, we will take that, all right? But th this week, if you're trying to make some coins, position change trading, trading with icons, fluctuation trading with a lot of these cards as well. When people sell off cards into or right after a 6 p.m. time frame during the daytime, out of packs informs are going to be perfect for flipping, right? These cards still have demand. People are buying them on the daily because they're upgrading their teams. They're getting better squads. Even though rivals is messed up, people still have the demand to play the game and upgrade their teams for the next weekend league. Uh, and there's panic selling almost every day. So that's just more opportunity to get in on quick flips, good old like 12 to 24 hour quick flips on this market so if you enjoy this video that's the market outlook for this week boys right a lot of question marks around what content's going to be coming with the end of ones to watch with this market being crazy ridiculous and of course with possible screen promo at the end of the week with champions league stuff happening midweek ones to watch items a new team of the week it's going to be a fun week on foot boys all right so if you enjoyed this video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace